How's everybody? I'm back. Yeah, I do that now and again. Yes, I'm still fiddling with the camera. Anyway, I thought I would do something interesting today. Well, sort of interesting. I've got a the whole list. The whole blessed list of my eyeshadow palettes on a picker and I'm trying to get it to load come on thing load because I'm going to do a palette bingo just because because I feel like it. Because it's Saturday morning and I still haven't come up with a different idea. Now, this picker wheel is one you can stick on your computer and it will tell you how many pallets you have. And when you first load it, you kind of have to pay attention a little bit because it will put blanks in so that you've got like between one and three blank spaces so that you have to keep going you know run it again but i picked this up and it it loads on your computer and you can either use it from your browser or you put it on your desktop and run it from there and you can get it to pull up a list and you can copy the list and you know pick it up as text and put it in other documents and I've got it in a spreadsheet so I could get everything by alphabet if I felt like it. I basically just kept picking up the palettes out of the drawers and going okay now this one's name is and put it in. So, what I'm going to do is spin this wheel, do the bingo pick thing, and see what I come up with. Oh, we're getting daring. Now, I, once I get the pick done, I will probably be shutting the camera off for a couple of minutes while I dig through the 82... Yes, 82 options that I have available in three drawers because I got to find it. So let's see what we come up with. Put my glasses on so I can see that far. All right, Pure Midnight Masquerade. So, I will be right back after I dig that out of the bottom. <laughs> All right. Midnight Pure Masquerade. It wasn't in the bottom. It was in the top. I knew mostly. I know mostly where the little ones are. The bigger ones are harder to spot from the top. Let me get these back off. Now, we know I don't normally go for higher end products. This was part of a um, gift exchange that I did with Nona, my so-called life 1973 where I set her things like rhubarb pie filling and chutney and homemade stuff like that. And she sent me makeup she was ready to, to pass on. And I'm like, cool, look at what I got. Now, anybody who has not seen it before, this is what she looked like. I'm trying to keep from blinding you with the mirror. 
do 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 so we've got mostly shadows on the side with the mirror and then we've got flusher and a little highlight on the other side or i've been known to use this big pan as eyeshadow so yep you can whatever now once i get finished doing this and doing this video i will be taking myself to my other setup and doing my um thumbnail video for the front page of the book channel and doing my first book video most of that will be the updates that i normally do on here for um uh, for my book so i will be doing the updates on the other channel now and we will see how that goes anyway i've got out of one of the boxes jessica black glow drops in rose pearl as my primer it it's really shining stuff it really it's like just shiny it's really shiny when you first put it on and i do mean glowy shiny when you first put it on i mean you can see the tip of my nose i'm looking at my mirror over here you can see the tip of my nose it's very shiny but it looks pretty good under the makeup so what the heck you know got my elf eye putty get me a brush out here for that do 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 yeah, the one that I used the last time, which had the big wide thing with the angle. Yeah, that one's still hit in the bucket to be washed. So I've got one of my flat brushes. And we will get this done. And we will see how this goes. Because I don't want to scare anybody with some of my wilder looks on the book channel. But let's be real. If I'm doing a makeup thing, I'm not going to waste a perfectly good makeup just because it's a little brighter than what i've been looking at some of the other author videos and most of them are pretty tame for what they're wearing and clothes you know the clothing and the the makeup and some of it's boring and you know things like hair and hair color yeah this this very shiny green up here is the electric lime color that i got i got three total of four different greens currently i've got the teal that i started off with i've got the green apple which was the one just before I've got the electric lime. I've got one that's called jade that appears to be very similar, or at least it looks like it's going to be very similar to the original teal that I got from Colorista. Now these colors are all adore. And one of the things I adore about it is it's in really nice little pop top bottles that seal up very nicely and it's just it's it's thick 
and it's a really nice gel consistency. You can see where you have and have not put it. It, it works really well. Um, I'm going to have to bleach the bottom again. And I, I just really like the way this work, the colorista. By the time you get to the third week, in some cases, it's still running when you have to wash your hair or even just wet it so that you can get the bed head deal dealt with. Or it's it's faded so badly it looks really gnarly. <laughs> I don't like the colorista that much, but I spent money on it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to also see what other colors the Adore line has. From what I saw on the sales site, they've got a list. And I may try looking for something I haven't used before. Just to see, you know. Okay. I think. Hush. Because I do, I do think. Now and then. I know it's not often. I know it, it's kind of a rare thing. But I do think. I'm actually going to use this highlight called Twilight, this up here in the corner, as kind of my starting point, because some of the other is, it's not really, there's not really a lot of mats in here, and the one real matte is this really, really dark chocolate brown. And I'm not going for a glamour shot here. I just want to put some stuff on. So I'm going to start, even though the highlight is highlighty and it's beige. Yes, I know, it's beige. They call it twilight. I call it going to start there and literally take it all the way up to the eyebrow. Just keep going back and forth across here. Because once I've got that on, I can start laying the other colors in wherever I want. And this will be See, that's some of those drop, the, the primer drops that I didn't quite get blended out. And it's really parkly. Really parkly. Parkle. Don't ask me why I'm talking like a three-year-old. I have absolutely no idea. I think I'm still mostly asleep. trying to get this and the other video done before it gets way too hot to be sitting around in makeup in front of lights. Yesterday it wasn't so bad. The high was in the upper 80s. Today we're supposed to be back up in the 90s and headed for the roof again. We've had some truly ugly numbers around here. A week and a half ago, it was up in the hundreds. It got so hot in Canada. There was part of British Columbia that was trying to go up in flame. And I'm going, that ain't right. 120 
one in a little town. I think the town was called Lighton. And they ended up with a brush fire and it was, it was horrendous. I mean, just horrendous. And let me tell you, places like that are not expecting that kind of thing. That's not their normal situation, which means they don't have lots and lots and lots of equipment. So I was half expecting the news to be reporting how many places around were going, we're coming, we're coming, don't worry, we're coming. <laughs> because this was just awful. Absolutely awful. And you gotta wonder how you deal when nobody knows what's going, you know, they're not used to it. They don't know what's going on. They don't have equipment ready to go. Okay, now I'm gonna use that chocolate brown. It's called sneak a peek. No, sneak a peek, not sneak a. I don't want I'm watching too much Pikachu. Yes, I play Pokemon. Let me tell you. Playing Pokemon is not only fun catching the little critters, but if you walk like through parks and stuff, most of the parks, at least around here, have pokey stops. And going for a walk, looking for your pokies, the game tracks your um, kilometers. So, you know, you get your exercise. You don't have to buy a Fitbit to get your kilometers if you're not worried about, you know, your heart rate and blood pressure and all that stuff. So you don't have to buy one of those fancy exercise smart watches, which are expensive. Unless you want some really specialized stuff. The game's free to play. So, free is good. So I have me a wonderful time playing this silly game, collecting things, just for the heck of it. My grandkids like it. My son and his wife like it. So, you know, Mr's not that big on it. But that's okay. We do this thing anyway. Because it's fun. Yes, I'm checking to see if I've got it approximately. We know about approximates. Approximates are fun. Doodly doodly doo. Okay, now, what color am I gonna put in now? I've got this lovely olive called Mask Off. I've got a purple called Disguise, a cobalt gray that's 12 a.m., a cobalt blue that's Showtime, a flat, a, a, a medium toned silver called Exposed, the red from blusher side here that 
it looks much redder in the pan than when I'm looking at my monitor to see what it looks like. But I usually fix that in edit and up the color just a little bit so it looks right. Hidden secret, this deep line purple up here in the top called reveal. Medium tone brown here called enchantment. And then back to twilight. Let's see. I think I'm going to use the olive green just because it's pretty. It's a really, really pretty olive green. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, this little mirror in here comes in handy because my regular mirror is kind of off to the side here. And depending on how I'm sitting, I end up bending a little too far. Kind of ended up off to the side a little. Bring that up just a tad because I have little eyes. And if I don't bring it up a little bit, when I open my eyes so I can see what I'm doing, you won't be able to see the green. And then I'll have done all this work for nothing. Isn't that a silly idea? Okay, yeah, that works mostly. Since I'm looking down at the mirror, you're getting a lot more eye there. Now, I could wet this to really bring it up so that you see more shine with the green. And I might end up kind of doing that anyway, but I'm going to do it with a setting spray before I finish doing the whole look. I'm going to do some setting spray on the eyes before I finish doing things like, you know, the eyeliner and mascara and all that lovely stuff just because I wanna, I wanna. That, and I'm gonna show you my wonderful new spray bottle because you may not have seen it yet. No, this is not a color switch here. This is just a little tin can and I got from Dollar Tree, they've got these little face scrubby things that's got some nylon net over some terry cloth. And I put it in this little can because it makes it easier to hold it. And I just scrub off my brush that way. It's easier on the bristles. Yeah. Uh, Oh, it sounds like the puppies are having a tussle again. We've got some very large puppies. 
large puppies. And they get a little fractious. And when they get fractious, even though they're babies, mostly, they, they, they sound like they're tearing the house down because they're big. Big. Big, 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 big. One of them's an Italian Mastiff, okay? Big. Big, 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 big dog. She's beautiful. Solid, coal black. Absolutely gorgeous. But she's enormous. Okay. Bottle. Got this picked up through Amazon. The little white thing, there's the straw that goes down, and then there's this other white thing in there that's kind of thick. It keeps pressure in the bottle so that you get a continuous spray with one pump. There you go. That's it. Plenty for my eyes. Alrighty. I love that bottle. That bottle was five bucks. Five bucks. I'm going to get me some more of them. I will be right back and do some of the other stuff. Like, you know, put the foundation over, over the glowy drop primer. And I've got CoverGirl True Blend in L1. We'll see how this goes. I haven't tried this one yet. Got some other CoverGirl stuff, the one with the oil of Olay in it, the spinny, spinny, you know, twisted stuff. We'll see how this goes. I'll be right back. That's okay. Yes, I'm back. Everything is spritzed. Still I haven't put the lippy on, but hey. Use the bronzer and the blush out of the same palette since they had it. Um, main eyeliner is cof coffee from Ojos Perfectos. Arciella came in for boxes. Brows is my elf pencil in, in neutral brown. Um... Brown Mascara Wisp from AOA Studio. So underline Waterline is Espresso from Lottie London AMPM. Another box piece. Ah, da, 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 da. I've got my Elf Lash and Brow Enhancer on under all this stuff. And now I'm going to get this one. Am I going to get this one? Or am I going to get this one? Which one am I going to get, guys? Come on, help me out here. I think I'm going to do that one. 
Oh, the other one's called Hot Pink. And this really isn't a hot pink. This one's called Soft Pink. It's actually kind of more purpley. But, yeah, I know. I don't do pencil often. But my skin's a little dry, and I got them stupid wrinkles, you know, old lady wrinkles around my mouth. Finny, why for you move the camera? Finney's on his little dog bed right under the table with the camera and all of my junk on it. He decided he needed to move significantly. Just had to do it. Must. So, this is the Santi another box piece the it's power oils lip gloss the shade is i'm not kidding super mom now i have been complimented on wearing this one on a regular basis so see kind of slightly purpley sort of And works pretty well with that lip pencil. Now this one dries down pretty quick, pretty evenly. And even though it says it's a gloss, it's, it, it's pretty much a matte color when it gets dried down. Now, this is the other one that I use a lot from Physicians Formula. See, they go together close. Yeah, this one is the Coral Minerals from their Velvet Finish line. This one is absolutely matte. The Visanti has a little bit of shine. Absolutely matte. Little shiny. These are currently two of my favorites. Now, if I was going to go out in the evening with this, you know, with the Pure Masquerade palette stuff, I'd probably put a much bolder lip on. But it's Saturday. And, and, and... If I go out at all today, it'll be to the grocery store. I really don't need something like Elf's Bordeaux to go to the grocery store. Um, but if I was going out for the evening, yeah, the Bordeaux would be really good. Anyway. Let me take the bobby pin out of the hair. Get the brush. Do, do, do. Yes, this is why I had the bobby pin in because that's the way I had it laying earlier. And I really didn't want be doing the here let's move this out oh no wait the whole time I was doing the rest of the face you know it it's yeah it's annoying nobody wants to see it especially when they know I have bobby pins 
and I can get the hair out of the way and not have to do all this mess. Anyway, there we go. One each spinner bingo. What you think? No, really. I ask Cubans for a reason. I actually would like to know what you think. I would actually like to know if you have any questions. Questions. I want to see what you guys do. Put some stuff up and let me know. If you've got this palette, here's your challenge. Do something with it and put it up so we can see. Anyway, since we have people getting sick again because of the newer strain, Mind your manners. Be nice to someone just for the heck of it. Dare you. Wash your hands. Mind your distance. If you are still under mask orders, or if you are feeling like you've got even a cold or the flu, put your stinking mask on. Don't spread it around. Nobody else wants it. Okay? Nobody else wants it. A mask is more to save other people from you sneezing on them than it is to help you. So, be nice. If you have not been vaccinated, why the hell not? And go do it and get your flu shot if you haven't while you're at it. Shingles, pneumovax, all that stuff. I've had shingles. It is horrendously painful. I had shingles pretty close to 10 years ago. And I still have pain from it. I've got scars that run all the way along the edge of the right shoulder blade. And they won't go away. And that's where the pain runs, right along that same area. I didn't have insurance at the time. If you have insurance, they can give you painkillers for, for the pain. I didn't have insurance. Don't make other people sick just because you are stubborn. If you need help of any kind, I've got a bunch of helpline numbers down in the description. If you want to be active, helping out people and standing up for things you believe in, I've got a bunch of numbers for that down there too. I've got the, the address for my new book channel. Now, I'm going to be splitting up the days that I do the channels. I was attempting, we all know, that attempting to stay on a schedule is not easy, especially when you have chronic illness, you're in college, you have grandkids living in. But I'm going to split my schedule. Tuesdays will be book. Saturdays will remain with the makeup. I think I've got the banner mostly fixed on the makeup channel that's got that info. I've still got to fiddle with it a little bit, be 
because it's just it, it the bottom line is getting clipped I sometimes hate trying to make banners for, for the website for, for the YouTube site it is such a pain in the tuckus anyway that's it for today now I'm gonna go make a book video I'm still crossing my fingers on track for being able to push the book out by the first I've got a bunch of business stuff I've got to do I mean cuz cuz we started an LLC because this is me and the hubs LLC because he did the artwork for the cover I did the interior stuff the story and the writing and that kind of thing and it's a business and I have to be able to give the business account information to the vendors and suppliers like the people who are going to actually publish the book and that kind of thing so we need to finish we had started doing the paperwork last year for all this stuff and then they started talking about the state being all backed up with things because you know COVID so we didn't get everything filed last year now we have to finish filing all the paperwork with the state for things like the logo and 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 our LLC luckily the IRS to put together the LLC doesn't cost anything but there's fees with the state plus we have to put a minimum amount into the account that we're going to be using which is separate from the household account no commingling of funds none of that and I have to have that account to be able to pay the publisher and as they sell the books they have to have that account so they can pay me from the publishing I'm crossing my fingers that some of you buy the dang book I have picked out book plates I have I picked them out I've done I've created the template for a embosser stamp thing like they use for notaries but it's got you know AP Morris and author and my little logo thing like the one I use on the videos down in the corner I've got that in the center so that when I sign the book plate I can emboss the pooch so that when it gets sent to you you have proof that I really did sign this chink 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 so that when you put the book plate in the book you can prove that it's really a a signed edition real signature so there and you don't have to go stand in line at a bookstore how you like that anyway got most of the stuff done most of the stuff set up just gotta get all that all the ducks in the row and then because until I pay the publisher I can't go in and load the book and format it I gotta get all those account numbers and stuff and pay pay the publisher
Anyway, that's where we're at. That's where this is. Be good.